you know, when we were making this film, we wanted it to be better than Borat, and we thought, what could people see that they'd never seen before on film? And we thought one thing would be a comedian interviewing a terrorist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, which I think has never been done before, for good reason. Um, and so we showed the script, you know, the, the outline of the script to the studio, and they said, oh, this is great, who's going to play the terrorist? And we said, no, we're going to find a real terrorist. <laughs> now, it's not that easy to find an actual terrorist. In, fa in fact, your government has been looking for one for about nine <laughs> years. <laughs> You're exactly right, yeah. They're there's no Craigslist in Beirut, for example. <laughs> so we called up a contact we had at the CIA and said, uh, can you help us? We're looking mm -hmm. to find a terrorist. Bruno, Bruno has a contact at the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno doesn't, but I knew somebody who did. All right. And the guy at the CIA said, you know, we've got a lot of names of terrorists, but we have almost no addresses. <laughs> And so eventually, after a few months, we found somebody who actually lived in a town that had a terrorist from a, a pretty nasty group called the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade, who are kind of the number one suicide bombers out there, mm. if you're looking for them. Um, <laughs> and he said, yeah, there, he goes, there is a terrorist who lives in my town. And I, <laughs> so I said, great, you know, can we, can we interview him? But I'm a little bit scared about reprisal attacks from the other people in, the, in, you know, in your city. And he said, don't worry, you know, everybody loves you. We love the Ali G show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the next thing was I thought I needed some security to get to the right. terrorists because it was in the West Bank. The guy picks this secret location. So we called around some security firms. Everybody said, no way. Mm. <laughs> and eventually I found one guy who was an Englishman who'd done the Enrique Iglesias hero tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta go where you gotta go. Wow. You know, he'd, his main job had been protecting Enrique from flying underwear. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> you know I, I knew if it came to it, this guy would take a bra for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we get there, and I said, all right, listen, I'm a little bit scared that the terrorist and his bodyguards are going to be armed. So if they're armed, let's have a code word. You oh, know, if they're armed, idea. say that it's going to be hot weather. Mm -hmm. And if they're not armed, there's no guns, just say it's going to be cold. Simple enough, sure. So we end up at this secret location. Uh, the terrorist comes in with his bodyguard. They've been checked by my bodyguard. My bodyguard comes in, and I said, so what's the weather going to be? And he says, um, well, I think it's going to be cold weather, but there's a chance it could be quite warm. <laughs> and it might even be boiling hot. <laughs> At which point the terrorist said, no, 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 it is not cold, it is warm. <laughs> and then I realized I was pretty sure that my terrorist either did or did not have a gun on him. <laughs> <laughs> so you're certainly getting your money's worth there. And then my bodyguard says, yeah, you're right, you know, it is quite warm out here. It's kind of much, much warmer than North England. <laughs> At which point I realized my bodyguard had forgotten about our role play. They're just talking about the weather. I was discussing yeah. the weather with the terrorist. Yeah. Now, uh, will, will these guys eventually see the film? Did you invite them to the uh, premiere? Or? I, I pray to God not. Yeah. <laughs>